All right. In this construction, we're going to construct the in-center of triangle ABC. And the in-center is going to be the intersection of the angle bisectors. So if you'll note, what we're going to do is we're going to swing an arc from vertex A, and then very quickly just swing an arc from vertex B, and then we will move over and swing an arc from vertex C. Okay? Now, each of those arcs intersects both sides of the angle, and then those become stop points for which to create the rest of the angle bisector. Now, I've lengthened out my compass so that when I do this, the intersections of those two new arcs is going to be well outside of the triangle, and that'll keep my construction from getting uh, needlessly cluttered. So I'm going to go ahead and label my points of interest. And then we're going to go ahead and use points G and H to create the angle bisector for angle A. So we're going to swing on an arc from G, and then we will swing an arc from H. Okay. And that intersection will provide the bisector of A. And then we'll swing an arc from the next two points, J first, and then swing an arc with the compass at the same setting, of course, from angle, from point F. And then finally, the last two that we will use is we will swing an arc from K and then an arc from L. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the intersections that you see outside of my triangle, connect those back to the original angle that they were constructed from, and that will bisect each of the angles. So there we have the bisector of A, and then very neatly the bisector of B, like so, and then the bisector, finally, of angle C. And what you'll see when we get that last bisector uh, completed is that all of the angle bisectors are going to meet in the same spot. And this spot is going to be the in-center. Now the in-center is equidistant from all the sides, but none of the angle bisectors are necessarily perpendicular to the side. So what I've got to do is one more quick construction, which is the construction of a point perpendicular to a line. So from point P I swing an arc that intersects AC twice, and then I use those as stop points to create an intersection. And if I connect that intersection back to point P, what, it's, what it does is it actually creates a line perpendicular to BC through point P. And that is the definition of the distance to a side. Now, I take that and I'm going to copy that distance with my compass and then I will swing an arc all the way around a little technical difficulty there. Okay. Swing an arc all the way around, and that is going to be my inscribed circle. So P is my in-center, and I inscribe a circle. So in-center for inscribed. And there we go. And our construction is complete.